Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, new DJI Spark introduced. Triton Aerospace purchases South Lakeland, Florida Airport. Airbus launches ACH Airbus corporate helicopters. Hello, I'm Laura Hudson. It's May 25th and this is Airborne Unlimited. DJI has just introduced the Spark, which they call an easy-to-use, fun-to-fly mini camera drone that lifts off from the palm of your hand to capture and share the special moments in your life on the go. The little drone's aims are clear, keep it simple, using a number of new control concepts that range from an ingenious cadre of specialized hand gestures to mobile device control to quasi-conventional flight controllers and to incorporate scads of accessories and additional functionality. The revised DJI app support is impressive. Controlling a camera drone with hand movements alone is a major step towards making aerial technology an initiative part of everyone's daily life, from work and adventure to moments with friends and family, said Paul Pan, a senior product manager at DJI. Spark fits easily in almost any bag and weighs just 10.6 ounces, Spark will be available in five different colors, alpine white, sky blue, meadow green, lava red, and sunrise yellow. Spark can fly up to 31 miles per hour and houses an impressive camera with a 1 over 2.3 inch CMOS sensor that captures 12 megapixel photos and shoots stabilized HD 1080p videos. Spark's two-axis mechanical gimbal and ultra-smooth technology dramatically reduce shake and rolling shutter effect to capture cinematic shots effortlessly. The price of a DJI Spark, including aircraft, a battery, USB charger, and three pairs of propellers, is $499. The Spark Fly More combo includes an aircraft, two batteries, four pairs of propellers, a remote controller, propeller guards, a charging hub, a shoulder bag, and all necessary cables for $699. We have a note out to DJI to get a review unit ASAP. More info to come. Triton Aerospace, a Chinese corporation with U.S. operations based in Washington State, has purchased the South Lakeland Airport for $2 million, with plans to establish a training and support center. The airport on the south side of Lakeland Linder Airport has had its share of issues and problems over the years, but few thought it would attract this kind of interest. Tom and Shiwei, the owner of Triton Aerospace, says the company is targeting flight schools for its new Skytrek LSA, which looks a lot like the Czech Aircraft Works sports cruiser. It is reportedly the first SLSA to be certified by the FAA and be built in China as well as China's CAAC. Shiwei said that his goal is to build a customer base in China by bringing Chinese pilots to Florida and train them to be flight instructors who will then return to China to teach others how to fly. Planned improvements to the Southland Airport includes paving the runway ends, according to Shiwei. He anticipates that the center will bring about 100 jobs to the area. How this activity will fit in with the airport's home and residence remains to be seen. After the break, Airbus Corporate Helicopters gets launched. The dream is real. A truly affordable personal jet aircraft. The Subsonics Personal Jet Kit is priced at only $42,000. Kit Plus Engine is still under $100K. Add instruments, upholstery, and paint, and you're flying. It's time to put your money where your bucket list is. Learn more at sonicsaircraft.com. The Bristel Light Sport Aircraft is what you are looking for. The Bristel is wider than a Cirrus, faster than a Skyhawk, offers more storage than a Husky, and comes standard with Garmin Avionics. So what are you waiting for? Visit Bristel.com to find out how you can get into a Bristel today. Welcome back. Airbus Helicopters has launched Airbus Corporate Helicopters. The brand will be identified by the ACH logo. ACH mirrors the successful sister brand Airbus Corporate Jets. ACH will provide current and future customers an end-to-end -end exclusive ownership experience 
ranging from advice helping customers to choose the right aircraft and design a bespoke style. ACH's offerings comes in three different product lines. ACH line based on Airbus corporate helicopters in-house style concept. This interior cabin line is the perfect response for those looking for a light and efficient design, clean lines and spare style. ACH exclusive, this interior line responds to those looking for a truly exclusive environment with the highest standard of refinement, luxury and comfort. ACH Editions, a portfolio of Airbus corporate helicopters, special collaborations and partnerships with luxury brands and designers, ranging from Hermes to Mercedes-Benz and including designers by world-renowned designer Petter Eidsgaard. Availability of aircraft is increasingly important to all customers, but this is especially true for the VIP market where low annual use of the helicopters bring high expectations when the aircraft is required. To address this, ACH will introduce HCARE first, a tailored version of HCARE. It's Thursday, which means that it's time for an Aero Community Update, highlighting news and information about the incredible people and organizations that populate the Airborne Partnership Initiative behind Airborne Unlimited. ANN has huge plans for a major expansion of Airborne Unlimited, the most radical, innovative, and disrupted aviation program we've ever devised. But that doesn't mean that our Airborne Partnership programming is falling by the wayside. Oh no, if anything, these programs serve as the spokes of the wheel, while Airborne Unlimited remains the hub of all our efforts. In the next few weeks, we'll be announcing six new Airborne Partner programs all in vital, important, and fascinating aspects of the Aeroverse. And that's hardly the last of them. The idea here is to develop strong relationships with leading players in the Aeroverse, to fine-tune our knowledge and expertise in important classes within the aviation and aerospace world, and to build a solid audience individually, as well as collectively with them all. Each of these in return can contribute to the main program currently known as Airport Unlimited, but which is in the process of being revised and upgraded radically so that our program not only educates and entertains, but works aggressively to contribute to the rebuilding of the aviation and aerospace community, not only for its own survival, but so that the entire community can learn to act in concert for the good of all. More info to come. After these messages, Gulfstream G600 makes 13-hour flight. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Progressive Aerodyne's Sea Ray Elite offers turbocharged Rotax Power and Garmin G3X Touch Avionics. Incredibly well equipped, you can fly away in this best in category Amphib for less than $160,000. Visit SeaRay.com for more details. Welcome back. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're summarizing some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. Gulfstream has disclosed that the Gulfstream G600 recently completed a 13-hour, 5-minute flight, its longest since the aircraft's flight test program began in December. The G600 Endurance flight was made by the program's third test aircraft less than two weeks after its maiden voyage. GoGo -Go Business Aviation has unveiled a new suite of smart cabin systems, SCS Elite and SCS Media which are integrated cabin in-flight entertainment and voice solutions that can be personalized to fit the specific needs of passengers. SCS is a suite of smart cabin systems that let users integrate a personal mix of technologies seamlessly and reliably. The Pentagon has reportedly been overcharging its armed services for fuel, including aviation fuel to generate extra money for training Syrian rebels, bolster a prescription drug program, and cover unbudgeted costs for the war in Afghanistan. As much as $6 billion has been generated by overcharging for fuel over the past seven years. 
After two years of preliminary study, Arion Corporation and GE Aviation have launched a formal process to define and evaluate a final engine configuration for the AS2 supersonic business jet. The two companies will continue to participate in a formal and gated process to define a potential collaboration for an AS2 engine. Rockwell Collins has announced a new ProLine Fusion Integrated Avionics upgrade for the Bombardier Challenger 604 aircraft. The ProLine Fusion upgrade is expected to be certified by fall of 2018 and available exclusively through Bombardier and Nextant Aerospace. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Now let's move on to the rest of the news. Nancy Lee Carlson owns something that NASA would really like to have back. A sample of the moon dust collected by Neil Armstrong on his historic mission to the moon. Carlson purchased the sample at an online auction on behalf of the U.S. Marshals Service several years ago. The sample had been a part of a bundle with other artifacts that Carlson purchased for less than $1,000. She sent the zipper bag to NASA for authentication, and they said it had been a mistake for it to be sold and said they were keeping it. That led to a court battle, which Carlson eventually won. Now she hopes to resell the sample for at least $2 million in Sotheby's first space exploration sale on July 20th in New York, according to a report from the Wall Street Journal. Cassandra Hatton, a specialist for Sotheby's, said that the sample may sell for several million dollars in part because NASA does not allow private ownership of lunar samples, apart from this single case. She called this her Mona Lisa moment. The sample was in the custody of a third party until the July 20th auction. Well, that's our program for today. Remember that Airborne Unlimited is streamed daily Monday through Friday with additional breaking news bulletins for important stories that fall outside of our normal deadlines. If you're watching us on YouTube, please subscribe and do check us out on Facebook and Twitter. Get comprehensive, real-time, 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. See you tomorrow.